I'm going to create so much content that nobody's going to be able to ignore refugee entrepreneurs. What is an Argentinian doing in Egypt, in the Middle East, writing about startups? Growing up, as I was studying journalism, as I was going to high school, 9-11 was a moment that marked a turning point. There was a very clear narrative that spoke about the Middle East as a war zone. It was first curiosity and it was an intention to really learn about the culture. My personal experience in Egypt and in the Arab countries was so different than everything I had read about in the media. So I started telling positive stories about the Middle East when I was in Egypt. I joined Cairo Scene and I found myself in a company that was very innovative in the way they told stories. Even when we started Startup Scene, it was really about innovating and telling those stories that are completely uncovered, that are completely untold. And Startups Without Borders came as an idea when as, as part of these interviews, I began interviewing refugee entrepreneurs. One after another, I started discovering that they were not the exception to the norm, that there were many. There's this miscommunication between the startup world, the business landscape, and the organizations that work with migrants and refugees. They speak completely different languages, they don't understand each other, and there's a lot of misconceptions. Everyone ends up seeing refugees and migrants as passive beneficiaries, as victims. There's this, this stigma that is perceived as them as well. Refugee is not a word that they identify with because it has become a stigma. We started telling stories and then we realized that creating events was fundamental because access to network is super important for a person that has moved to a new country. For a person that doesn't have a network, that doesn't have connections, building that network is crucial. For a refugee, sometimes registering their company is not possible as a foreigner. So it's, it's very important that we build this network where they can find co-founders that are local, that are from the countries where they are, and they can together register their company. Oh my God! <laughs> what do you expect? We're going to be discussing the legalities for startup formation in Egypt. We're going to be discussing things like building communities and turning those communities into a business. Monetizing communities, monetizing data. How can we utilize data as the new oil, basically? We're going to be talking about virtual reality for startups. How can we reimagine a new world using virtual reality? We're also going to be talking about craftsmanship. How can artisans build businesses that can sell abroad? Who should attend the summit? Anyone that aspires to be an entrepreneur, anyone that aspires to build change, anyone that aspires to build a startup that is genuinely international from the get-go. Entrepreneurship at the end of the day is a mind game. Handling those emotions and handling that roller coaster is key to succeeding. Accepting one no after another no and keep going and keep going.